It's a great privilege to publish Gary Steingart's third novel. He's really risen to the top of the literary ranks with this new book, easily outshining his last two novels. What's truly remarkable about Gary is that he's accomplished so much while hiding an unusual secret. I can't read. <laughs> he wants me to write a blurb, and I've, I've already got it worked out in my mind. Um, super sad thing is a dystopian novel about the near future, and the scary thing is it's already happening. He's our greatest satirist, and um, but he can also write it about real feelings like love. What did you think of the ending of the novel? I haven't gotten that far. I mean, I, I, I actually only have read just the beginning. Well, here's another Homo Wild. Oh, I hear famous Homo, famous Homo. Famous Homo. Ah, so pretty. Now he has this big teaching position at Columbia. At Columbia? They let him teach at Columbia? Oh my God. Think of our poor kids. He's a huge inspiration. Um, he came from nowhere. And he's, you know, still kind of nowhere. But he knows how to work the literary world. What was your favorite class of his? I guess his seminar on how to behave at a Paris review party. Well, you know, I do so much prefer early Ian McEwen to late Ian McEwen. Man, man. Well, mm -hmm. I, do I do so much prefer, prefer early Ian McEwen to late Ian McEwen. No, no, Mechemchem, it has to come from deep in heart, not from throat. James Franco, please teach this. Mechemchem. See, this is real out there. Less is more. I actually haven't read uh, his new book, uh, Sad, True, or whatever. Uh, but, you know, I don't, I don't think he actually wants me to read it. I mean, I don't, I don't think reading is really his thing. That, that, girl, that. No. Yeah, we got that one. So, it's never going to be easy, because this is Socratic method. This is, you know, inquiry. What he really wants to do is, uh, you know, cash on an, in on the, the whole uh, Hollywood vampire thing. Like, uh, but, you know, we're gonna do like this werewolf thing, but they're not wolves, they're, they're bears. Like, werebears. Working with Gary has been a singular experience. Because of his voice and his style? No, because he demands his advance be paid entirely in smoked meat, pickled tomatoes, and three recently graduated debutantes from Mount Holyoke. I mean, not, not that I'm bitter, because I love Gary. Women can be a writer too, huh? We try. You try. It's, it's not, hard. It's, it's no, not hard. In our brain, you know, we just, we, we just try so hard to, like, separate our brain from our, you know. Yes. But... Let's face it, the only reason Gary gets published is he's so good looking. At some point in college, he took some mu mushrooms, some kind of uh, hallucinogenic, and um, had a vision that he was actually an immigrant from Russia. So he, he be began writing from that point of view, you know, ma imagine what his parents would, would be like, he started having an accent. You're such a good boy. Oh, eat, eat turkey trees. You know what you like? You like a lady with a lap dog. The Chekhov story. Who? Chekhov. <laughs> Guy from Star Trek writes story? Gary has managed to escape the anxiety of influence by the sheer fact that he has never read a word. That must be very empowering. I, I would think so. I can, you know, I really admire that state of pure, you know, pure ignorance. It's trying to escape. Oh no. Oh God. Ah. Gary! Gary McInerney! Thanks God you are here! I'm having Deb problems. Oh, don't worry. This happens to me all the time. It does? Vassar or Mount Holyoke? Mount Goliok. Hey, girls. Meet the author. With his roots deep in Russian literature, Steingart has become an important and indispensable American writer. Super sad, true, sexy love story shows him at his smart, soulful, and hilarious best. <laughs> Hey, <laughs>